Holy crap, check that out. That is spectacular right there. Oh, that's whole, it's whole. And it's embossed. Oh, holy moly. I like that one. Hospital size for hospital use only. Look at that. Pretty sure that's a milk. Oh, that's whole, that's whole, is it embossed? Everybody. We're again on the way to the bottle dump. We're gonna find some cool stuff today. I got Tyler in the back. There we go, Tyler's waving. We're, uh, as usual, we're hoping to find some antique marbles and some maybe some uh, embossed milk bottles, soda bottles, medicine bottles. We'll, we'll see how it goes. This place is quite loaded with uh, old antique bottles, so we know we're gonna find some good stuff. So let's go. Ready to do this, Tyler? Thumbs up? All right, let's go. See them? Look at that, just popped out two marbles. Look at that. Oh, this one's chipped. Oh, it's kind of chipped on the end there. Oh well. Still, will go good in the marble jar. Red and white marble. Another, I guess, orange and white, I guess this would be. This one looks like it's intact. All right, a couple sweet marbles. Awesome, all right. Let's keep digging. Still got the trench going here, working my way through here. Well, it seems to be a lot of marble. A lot of marbles, a lot of milk bottles in this spot here, so. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. All right, let's keep digging. Couple cool finds. I thought this was a marble. I mean, one of them is a marble for sure, the green, green marble. But the other one looks like a bead. I thought it was a, like a clay marble. But it is a bead, everybody. But anyway, it's a very cool marble. Another marble to add to the collection. And then I found a, just popped up. Oh, it's busted. Look at that, it's busted. Another milk of magnesia. That's busted. We got tons of these anyways, so that won't be coming with me. <laughs> All right, but a couple cool finds. Let's keep looking around. A couple finds here, look at that. Just pop that out. Oh, holy moly. I like that one. Wow, that is a nice marble right there. <laughs> holy smokes, folks, look at that. That is spectacular. Wow, wow, wow. Very rare I find marbles of that color. That is spectacular. I'm so happy with that. Woo! And then look at this. Look at this. Is that a coin? That sure looks like a coin. Oh, well, maybe it's just a head stamp of a shotgun shell. I'll have to get that cleaned up. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that is. I'll have to get back to you about that. Could be a coin. Yeah, it is coin looking. I think that's a coin of some kind. All right, a mystery coin and an awesome marble. Oh, and I also found a couple of, uh, I found this guy. Hold on, Moore's, or no, Mo Moon's, Moonies, Moonies, Emerald Oil. I think that's what it says, Moon's, Moonies, Emerald Oil, could be totally wrong. I think that's what it is, Moon's and, and Emerald Oil. <laughs> and look at that jar, that's a neat looking jar. And then I found a blue, a little blue, uh, whoa, perfume, a little flask of some kind. Cool find, cool find. All right, let's keep digging around, but yeah, found some nice finds right here. Let's go. A little update, a little update. I found one of these guys again. Buff it says Buffalo, New York, and it says uh, RV Pierce MD. These ones are like a greenish color. If you left them out in the sun, they'd probably turn more green. But you can see below a green greenish color to it and I found a um, some kind of a case compact case or something 
I'll see if I can open that up later. It's probably just an old makeup case. Cool. And I found an old ashtray there. And check this out. Old cork top. That's an old juice. I'm pretty, oh, I'm, I'm assuming. Old apple juice or something like that. There's no markings on it of any kind, but usually bottles shaped like this are some kind of a juice bottle. So that is very cool. I really like that. All right. And then, save the best for last. I'm pretty sure this is a milk. Well, I know it's a milk. I don't know if it's whole yet. Let's pull it out, everybody. Oh, that's whole. It's whole. And it's embossed. Purely products. Nice. Very, very, very nice. Awesome. I love the milk bottles. Don't see any visible chips or cracks. Very, very nice. This is what I'm here for. Finding milk bottles. Awesome. Another one for the collection, everybody. What do you think about that? Okay, let's keep digging. Wow. Oh, some pretty cool stuff today. There's a bottle there sticking out. Oh, just a jar, just a jar, everybody. But uh, yeah, I found a uh, Cobalt Blue Henry Wample bottle. The Henry Wample. There we go. And I found a toothbrush. I don't have Tyler with me today. He loves uh, the toothbrushes, so I'll definitely have to bring that home for Tyler. And then I found this guy. Pretty sure it's a whiskey bottle. Very nice. It's hard to see because it's pretty gucked up. But uh, these are nice looking bottles. Nice looking whiskey bottles. Probably 1930s or 40s. Very nice. And look at horseshoe. <laughs> I can add that to the, uh, look at, I got a horseshoe. You can see it in there in the tree. So I'm gonna add this one to the tree, the horseshoe tree. <laughs> I usually don't, usually don't keep these because you find them pretty often. And then I found a, uh, you know, cobalt blue uh, a bromo seltzer bottle. Very nice, very nice. A mason jar lid. I think this is, oh, it's, yeah, it's crown. Crown mason lid there. Very cool. I found another one of these. I don't know where it went. A Corona one I found as well. But anyways, cool finds. And look at this. Look at this, everybody. Check that out. <laughs> Holy crap. Check that out. That is spectacular right there. The bottom's all rust out of it. No more wheels on it. <laughs> Check that out. Old toy car. That is awesome. Wow. I don't know what to do with that. I guess I'm gonna take it home and uh, display it somewhere, but that is pretty cool. Very, very cool. I like that. All right, nice find. What does everyone think? All right, let's keep digging around. All right, a little update. Spoon. You <laughs> can't go wrong with a spoon. And uh, I found a few of these actually. These um, cod liver oil bottles. Scott Demulsion, I think it's called. Cod liver oil, kind of cool. Big with focus. There we go. And look at this bottle. Look at this guy. What the heck is that? I don't know if it's perfume or if it's some kind of chemical bottle. Sometimes when it's got the ridges on it, some kind of a chemical bottle. Very neat. And then look at a big. Big iron, everybody. That is solid. Holy crap. I found a lot of these irons lately. <laughs> Big iron. And then, look at this. Everybody loves, knows I love marbles. Holy, why is it not focusing? I'd restart my phone there. But look at that. Nice white marble. At least it looks white. And then look at the, the red one there. Look at that. Nice swirls in that. It's like red and orange and white. That is awesome. And a bottle stopper. Wow, the bottle stopper's gotta be at least 100 years old. That's crazy. Awesome. All right, some cool little finds. All right, let's keep digging around, everybody. Let's go. It is update time, everybody. Found a, uh, <laughs> mosquitoes are getting me. Um, Waterman's ink, old Waterman's ink bottle. They're always kind of neat to find. And then I found a, another one of these Henry Wampels. Hit in a pocket of uh, these blue Henry Wample uh, bottles. He's got the embossing on both sides there. See that? Cool little bottle. And then I found a, uh, a jug. <laughs> I don't know if that's a moonshine jug or what, but it doesn't look like it's moonshine in there. But uh, cool little bottle. It's got the handle on the side there. Very nice. And then I just popped out a very nice bottle, everybody. I found these before, but man, it's such a fantastic bottle. Look at that. It's one of those uh, Army Navy bottles. Look at all the embossing on that. It says like JM... McGinnis or something like that. Distillers, Army, Navy, brand. And rye, gin, scotch, brandy, rum. That is a fantastic bottle. 
found several of these but man i love finding these guys these things clean up awesome they look am amazing on the bottle shelf wow all right fantastic find i'm gonna keep digging along here keep keep uh, moving the trench this way and uh, we'll see what else we can dig out of here let's keep going everybody it's a nice old lid this looks really really old see it's green it's got a nice little little pattern on that that's probably a uh, very early um 1900s maybe late 1800s that's a good sign of some old stuff and look at that everybody pretty sure that's a milk oh and it's whole it's whole is it embossed or is it a slip oh no it's embossed right there yep pure, purely products nice i prefer the ones with the town names on it but hey i'll take it man purely products all right nice looking milk bottle another one for the collection my collection is getting quite extensive let me tell you all right let's keep digging let's find some more of these suckers very nice just thinking to myself i haven't found a marble in a while boom look at that everybody i found like a tomato marble look at that that is nice yeah it's basically just like tomato color sweet marble right there all right it's been like an hour or so and I haven't found a marble. Usually I'm like every half hour I'm finding at least one marble. Cool marble. And then check this out. Oh, I found a Tamblin bottle, nothing too exciting. Found a Sloan's liniment, nothing too exciting. I'm assuming this is ink. I can't really read the bottom. Uh, Oink or quink, quink, something like that. But I think that's an ink bottle. That's a nice looking one, different looking. Definitely different looking. And then check this out. Look at that. Look at that, everybody. Now that has got some age to it. Wow. What would go in there? Cream? A little creamer? Maybe some syrup? Something like that? That is pretty sweet. I'm surprised it's not broken because usually these things are broken. That's why they're they're thrown out. But this one is it's fully intact. I don't see any cracks or chips or anything like that. That's uh that's amazing. So I'll definitely be keeping that, that's for sure. Wicked. And then I found another uh that's a green lid. <laughs> so definitely a sign of some age here. All right, everybody, let's keep digging. Let's go. I just popped out something with embossing on it. There's a little, a little bottle there too. Nothing, sometimes you can use have embossing. But look at that. That's different. I thought it was gonna be like a milk of magnesia, but it says hospital, hold on. Hospital size for hospital use only. Look at that. Huh, that's something different. That is cool. That's definitely a keeper. I mean, again, probably 1930s or 1940s, but uh, yeah, very nice. Nice to find some ones with embossing. And then I've been finding a lot of blues. I found an old uh, perfume, old perfume bottle. That is pretty cool. And then I found a milk of magnesia. There we go. Milk of magnesia. Very nice. Very nice. Nice looking. And this, oh, that, oh, I thought it was all cracked. Glenwood. Glenwood? Glenwood. I've never figured out what that is. Maybe it's some kind of sauce or something. I don't know. Glenwood. And then look at this little, I'm assuming perfume. Could be ink, but I'm kind of thinking that's a perfume bottle. That's something different as well. A lot of different finds on this uh, spot I've been digging in today. Very cool. That is a nice looking bottle right there. I really like that one. I'll be keeping that one. Wicked. All right, let's keep digging. Let's go.